When I was sentenced to serve 32 years in prison at 18 years old, I couldn't possibly imagine getting out. It felt like my whole life was going to be behind bars. So instead of dreaming of getting out, I started dreaming of being in a better prison or a better situation. That was why I started looking into interstate compacts, which allow a prisoner from one state to move to another state. And prison systems vary dramatically from state to state. Some have amazing vocational programs or college programs or conjugal visits, and other ones are just absolutely horrible. But you can't just pick and choose and ask to go somewhere, and not every state has agreed to the Interstate Compact Agreement. So you have to have a state that's on the list, and then you have to have family in that state while also having no family in the state you're currently in. The idea behind this is somebody from Washington State goes to Virginia, commits a crime, and gets locked up. Virginia doesn't want to have to take care of somebody who isn't from there and isn't going to be there when they get out. So they'll do an exchange where they can send up to 10 people to Washington, and Washington send up to 10 people then, and then once they're back to zero, they can do it again. Since my dad moved out of the country in 2004 and then died in 2006, the only family I had left in Virginia was my mother. And when she retired, she was thinking about moving anyways, about possibly living somewhere else. So we started talking about her moving to Washington, at least temporarily, so I could get an interstate compact from Virginia to Washington State. Because Washington has one of the best prison systems in the country, as far as academics, as far as vocational training, and conjugal visits if you're married. And at that point, I was in a relationship with a woman who said she would also move to Washington, we could get married, and we could have conjugal visits. In the end, my mom decided that she didn't want to move, and the relationship ended. And it was really unhealthy, so in some ways, not being able to do that kind of saved us. Because if we had moved out there and gotten married, we probably would have stayed in the relationship, even though it wasn't a good thing for either one of us. And the other thing is that I may never have gotten a pardon if I'd gotten moved out of state. So maybe losing in the short term, or losing access to those things in the short term, ended up saving me in the long run. Because rather than thinking about getting to a better prison, I actually got to think about getting out to the world.